Good morning, I am here with Peter Senneson, and if you have not heard of Walking Mountain Nature Center here in Avon, you definitely want to check it out. Good morning, Peter, how are you today? I'm doing well, thanks for having me. Awesome, I, now you're here to tell us you have some series going on at Walking Mountain. Can you tell us a little bit about your speaker series? Absolutely, up? so in addition to you know our snowshoeing programs and our field summer or our field science camps going on right now, we've got the High Country Speaker Series and it's a partnership we do with the Library District. So we host some presentations at Walking Mountains and then the Library District here in Avon hosts some. Um, February 7th, we're kind of mm -hmm. having our kickoff event and Rick Spitzer is going to be our um, presenter. This this year's theme is wildlife. Oh, that's uh, so much fun. I mean, kids can get into that too. Absolutely. And these programs are de designed for people with all ages. And, you know, we're, we're hearing a lot about wildlife in Eagle County, declining mm -hmm. elk and deer herds. Um, and Rick is out there with his camera documenting all of this. He is the, um, you know, really the ultimate citizen scientist here in the valley. And he's out there taking pictures. And, um, you know, he's been documenting declines or changes in the wildlife here you know, hyper locally. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get to kind of hear his stories and his, see his pictures um, over the course of, you know, his career out here um, and kind of hear him talk about what he's seen as far as wildlife goes. Now, since you do this in partnership with the library district, on the 7th, is the first presentation at the library or is it at the science, uh, Walking Mountains? So February 7th, the presentation is going to be at Walking Mountains with Rick. On February 12th, so just that next week, February 12th, the library district in Avon is going to be hosting Tom Griffin, who's a bear biologist. Oh, uh, Griffith, fun. excuse me, he's a bear biologist. He's done tons of work with bears, going to kind of come fill us in, um, everything bear related. And then the next month in March, March 13th, Mm -hmm. um, we've got a guy coming in from Idaho. His name is Carter Niemeyer, um, and he is a wolf expert. He hunted and trapped wolves for Idaho Fish and Game, um, and now he's really a wolf conservationist, really can speak to the ecology of the wolf and what it means for an ecosystem to have an apex predator. So he's going to kind of come talk about his experience with wolves and then maybe even touch on the implication for wolves in Colorado, which is, uh, I know, another kind of big topic And that's days. always a rumor. People are always wondering, are they here? Or are they not here? So that's really neat. It's going to be great to hear him talking. You know, he's coming from the background where he was out, you know, hunting as, as part of predator control. He was killing wolves as part of the predator control going on back in the 70s. Kind of come full circle now and realize that wolves are an important part of this ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really um, the big bad wolf stigma that we've given to, to wolves is a human caused um, manifestation. So, you know, wolves are not bad inherently. They are part of our world. And, we, you know, we, it's up to us to kind of see them. Um, the way they need to be seen. So it's going to be a great talk. Um, I'm really excited about That's it. That's really neat. And if you haven't been to Walking Mountain Science Center before, it's really kid friendly. I have kids and I've been in there with mine. And if you're worried about taking your kids to a presentation, there is so much they can touch and feel within the facility that if they might get a little, you know, if it becomes too adult or they get a little bit bored, there's lots of stuff that they can use to learn and check out while they're in there. Absolutely. So, you know, what we, you know, if folks want to stop by in the afternoon and, you know, hang out in the exhibit hall we've got our puppet stage and all of our animal puppets obviously mm -hmm. for the for the little ones um, you know then to hang out these presentations start at 5 30 um, they're free um, like I said open to all audiences we'll have some snacks out and stuff but it's a great way to you know um, have a conversation with the community um, and everyone's invited now if maybe I'm leaving before the this speaker series starts if I wanted to come what are the can I what are the hours for walking mountain so that I can come Monday through Saturday we're, th we're there from 9 to 5 only day we're closed is on Sundays um, but we do operate the yurt up at Eagle's Nest on Vail Mountain mm -hmm. we're open seven days a week uh, about 10 to 10 to 6 Tuesday through Saturday 10 to 3 Sunday and Monday Perfect. Thank you so much, Peter. Up next, we're going to have Ashley with a local check of our weather.